hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Megan with her courage to plan guys today we've got to go ahead and close out our paycheck number two budget for November and we're getting ready to get into 2020 y'all my gosh 2019 has come on in and did what it needs to do all right so what I've already done is went ahead and checked off the remaining bills and the paycheck number two for November is going to be from the 15th all the way through the 30th now if this is your first time watching one of my videos I'll go ahead and link a playlist up above so that you can go back and watch some of our other budgeting videos so that you can get an understanding of how my husband and I handle our finances and so today I'll be using my paper make ink joy gel pen I love these pens if you want to get your hands on it I do have some Amazon links down below so everything has already been checked off for the monthly view and I'm going to go ahead and get into the paycheck number two worksheet all right guys so this is the paycheck budget number two which is running us from November the 15th to November the 30th and for this paycheck we were planning 1200 and that's actually what hit the account now now, if this is your first time watching our video now my husband and I we do allocate a portion of our paychecks direct deposit to a joint household checking account and then we'll pay our household expenditures out of that joint household account now we still have our personal accounts and this has been working out very well for us our jobs do allow us to split our monies in more than one account via direct deposit and that's what we've decided to do and this has worked out really well for us thus far for me plan 640 and that's actually what hit the account for this pay period and guys you remember we had a rollover from october of 290.75 and so that is being accounted for in paycheck number two so that total is 21 30 75 that was actually received now for tithe and offering we actually spent 654 and then the car insurance 309.85 that was paid hulu and then the heloc this is the regular payment to the heloc which is our home equity line of credit that was paid and then of course our cell phones and we do have prepaid with AT&T and it's wonderful. And I always say that if you can get that phone paid off and go prepaid, it'll save you a whole lot of money. All right. And then um, the life insurance was taken care of. The electricity, the lawn service, and that's for two cuts for the month of November. And then gas, I actually spent $40 of gas for paycheck two. And guys, now the groceries, I am very disappointed in myself. I went over. So the groceries was $365.28. All right. And then over here for the savings, the household savings, $25. That was actually taken care of. And so this household savings, we set up a automatic direct draft from our household checking account to go to our household savings account every month at the end of the month. And that's what that $25 is. So it's automatic and it did already go into the savings account. And then down here for extra debt, the HELOC $76.89, that was definitely set aside. But you guys know, before I make the extra debt uh, payment and give you a debt update, you know I have to get the full picture to see exactly the total amount that we can put toward the HELOC for the month of November. So the $76.89 was the remainder of what was planned. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and total these expenditures. Give me a minute and I'll come right back with you guys. And so now I can go ahead and plug in the budget check-in actual for paycheck number two. Now, guys, if you're interested in this here worksheet that I'm using, this is the November budget kit. I do have this in my Etsy shop still. So in the budget check-in actual, everything in the actual columns, I'll be plugging down here to get our overall paycheck budget remaining. So the income, which is the actual here, 
213075. I will plug it. And then it says minus the given. The given total is 654. The expenses total is 1401, 14. And then our savings is 25. And then the extra debt that was set aside is the remaining is $76.89. All right. And so we'll go ahead and crunch these numbers. So it's $21.30.75 minus $6.54 minus $14.01.14 minus $25 minus $76.89. All right, guys, we are over budget by $26.28 for this paycheck number two budget. Now, I am not liking this. I am not happy about it. Nevertheless, I still have to do our overall November monthly budget. I'm very hopeful with that. But for this particular paycheck number two, we are definitely over budget. And we're not negative in our account. It's this particular paycheck budget I have gone over. And now this household account, it does have a month of expenditures as a huge buffer in it but i still don't like to like chip away at that so i'm not really over stressing but i'm not liking the fact that we were over budget all right guys let me know how your paycheck number two is going for the month of november are you on track to even out your month of november are you over budget let me know down in the comment section guys all right i will see you back in the next video bye